Carl, thanks for your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, how would you describe the reasons why you think your offense has taken that next step during the course of the season? I think a lot of it has to do with you know our coaching staff and you know the guys in, in the clubhouse. You know, Snit. Um, I work with him, you know, every single day, and uh, you know, he, I I had him back in I think it was high A, so you know I've known him for a little while um, being in this organization. So you know, he's seen my swing, you know, for you know a couple of years now, and he kind of knows you know what I'm doing right when I'm when I'm going well, and you know, kind of what I start to do when I'm not doing well, um, just to try and you know correct it. So I think working with him um, has definitely helped, and. You know, he does a great job with you know everyone, but you know I love working with him. He's a great guy, and he really knows what he's talking about. And then, you know, the guys in our clubhouse, we have so many great, great hitters that you know if someone's struggling at any point, um, they try and you know help help them out. So, you know, if you know if I'm struggling at the plate or anyone else, you know they try and help them out just to, you know, help them out. I mean, if if one guy's struggling, they. Tell them they honestly like. I know Carlos and Maldi like they go over their swings a lot. They were just doing it now. You know, if Car- Carlos watches you know everyone swing just to. You know, if Maldi's struggling, he tries to help him out and you know help help him improve because it helps out the team. So, you know, everyone you know is really helpful and you know there's a lot of feedback in there. We'll stay right up front. We'll get you the microphone. Kyle, back when you were in the minor leagues, your uh, teammates nicknamed you Ted for the late great Ted Williams. How much does that mean to you? And you know, moving forward now, do you still get a chance to talk to them? Yeah, I talk to a lot of guys. A lot of the guys I played with, you know, in the minor leagues are still either here or on another team. But um, you know, there's a couple of different nicknames, you know, just throughout the year that we make up. Um, so it's all it's all just for fun. You know, listens up the clubhouse, and you know. Baseball's a game at the end of the day, so you know if you're having fun out there, whether it's making up nicknames or jokes or hanging out, you know it makes it a lot easier, more more fun to be around. You know, just playing baseball. The second row on your right, Kyle. Kyle, kind of built, building off what JP just asked, um, you exploited a lot of weaknesses from a very good pitching staff in Chicago. Just how much is that tied to the scouting and the preparation, and just how thorough is that process? Yeah, I mean, you you guys saw them all year. Um, they have a phenomenal pitching staff and. You know, their starters and relievers and closers and everyone, you know, have done a really good job the whole year. Um, but, you know, like I said, our our one through nine hitters and the guys coming off the bench are are well well prepared and you know we're all really good hitters. You can't just take, you know, what are you gonna think? I'll, you can't take Altuve as an easy at easy at bat or Brantley or Correa. You know, you gotta you gotta work work through our lineup. So you know, our lineup's really deep. You know. Everyone can really hit, and we have a lot of preparation going into each game and each series. Other questions for Kyle? Uh, right here, we'll get you the mic. Hi, Kyle. I had two, actually. One, batting in the seventh hole, you don't see many guys who've led the majors in hitting and on-base and slugging since May 1st batting there. Is that advantageous to you to bat that low in the order? Um, I mean, it's just where, where I'm at. You know, does, Dusty makes the lineup. I've been, you know, I guess mostly in like the six seven spot for the most part of the year, but I, you know I've bad you know a couple of different spots, but yeah you know, I think just with how our lineup is, you know anyone can bat anywhere, but you know I think he does a good job of spreading you know Mike and Jordan and I out as the lefties and you know having good spacing out and you know I think it's really constructed well just because you know a lot of guys get in, get on base in front of us and everyone drives j- drives each other in, so you know it's just where I'm at and you know I'm all right with it. And my other question, because of the circumstances last year, this is the first year that you all played with a lot of venom from visiting fans. Does that create any type of chip on the shoulder for this team? And you weren't there in 2017, but even particularly, do you sense that among some of your teammates who were? I mean, at the end of the day, it's baseball, and we got, we got to go out there and win games. Um, you know, any opposing team at any opposing ballparks could get chirped at, but... Um, we just got to go out there and you know play baseball. You know it's it's loud out there, so I don't hear a whole lot, especially in the playoffs. Everything kind of just you know comes together as just noise. But um, you know we just go out there and try and play baseball and play it as best as we can. So you know we don't pay too much attention about you know stuff that happens off off the field. So we're we're all pretty locked in just on baseball. Third row in your far right here. 
you mentioned their pitching staff. You haven't seen them since the beginning of June. Uh, just how much have you seen of them since, and just what stands out about that staff? The Red Sox, right? Um, they have a couple guys, you know, that I haven't faced, and I'm sure they they picked up a couple guys. Or, um, but you know, we'll we 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 go over e each individual guy as um, you know preparation. Like we'll we'll probably do some today, and you know, especially some tomorrow before. Um, just to go over, you know, who's the starters and, you know, what guys are most likely to come in, what situations and who we're most likely to see. Um, but, you know, the, they, they have a good pitching staff. I mean, they've, they pitch really well the past, um, really the past year and, you know, up, up, up until, you know, the last series, they, they've pitched really well. Um, so, you know, we just got to come out with the same attitude and aggressiveness that we did against the White Sox because they were a great pitching staff too. And, you know, we just got to continue to put up Put up a lot of runs and play defense, and you know, play a complete game. Right in front of Mark. Kyle, as you obviously know, it's, it, you have the same demeanor, whatever whatever's going on, whatever the question is, whatever game it is. But it's just tough to get inside you. What's what's this like for you to be a central figure for this team? How special is it for you to be in this position and playing a role that could very well help this team get to the World Series? It's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, I try and stay even keel just because. You know, you can't get up, you know, too high or too low. Um, in baseball, you know, it's a marathon. You try and, you know, see as even keel as possible, I guess. Um, but I do get excited out there. And, you know, playing with this team, it's, it's, it's really easy to get excited. You know, we're such a good team that it's really fun to be a part of and watch. But, um, you know, I, I, I just go out there and try and do my part, whether it's, you know, a guy in third and I just need to hit a ground ball to get him in with the infield back. Um, you know, e each run's important, especially in, in the playoffs. Um, so. You know, anything I can do, whether it's just grounding out or, you know, moving guy over a sack fly or getting a big hit, you know, I'm just here to, you know, help the team win. The second row on your left, Kyle, John. Kyle, what are your favorite things about having Dusty Baker as your manager? Um, he has a lot of stories. I know you guys have probably heard that before, but, um, you know, he, he, he he's fun to be around. Um, you know, he, he always talks about back when, uh, you know, he was playing and, you know, stuff that he would – um, experience, you know, as a player, so he could, you know, he can relate to us. So, you know, he has, he has a lot of stories and he has, has a lot of knowledge because he's been in this game, you know, his whole his whole life. So, you know, he he's really fun to be around just because, you know, he has all that experience. He's been a player, so he knows, you know, what players are going through and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really fun to be around. And he he loves this game. You know, that's why he's still, he's still here. You know, he loves being around these guys, being around baseball, and he he just wants to come out here and win just as much just as much as we do, so we're, we're going to try and get them that World Series. And then the first row, we'll get to the mic. Kyle, how important was it for the organization to re-sign Michael Brandley, and how has he helped you grow and develop as, as a hitter? I think he's a big part of, you know, the reason why we're here. You know, he's obviously been doing it for a, for a while, and he's been doing it at a you know, really high level. Um, he's helped out not only me, but, you know, everyone in there, you know, he's, he's very knowledgeable about what he does. And he's very professional about what he does. So, you know, I know he, as an outfielder, you know, he, he kind of stays more with outfielders, especially with, you know, whenever there's a pitching change, he'll tell us, Hey, be smart with the ball, make sure, you know, where to throw it. Don't get too caught up with stuff. Um, so, I mean, you know, Chaz is his first year in the big leagues, Jake too, um, and Siri. And, you know, I've only had, you know, now two years, um, really, but you know he's he's helped out a lot of, a lot of the young guys, and he's still you know learning and you know teaching some of the older guys. So he's he's a big part of you know where we are today. 